A crucial scenario is what happens when an order gets returned by a client. Returns actually work very similar to orders. So let's extend the journey of our pair of jeans a bit further and let's have a look at what exactly happens when your customer registers the return on Amazon. Similarly to orders, we create an API request that requests an open return. The return is linked to the original order number so that we can match them to the order. Once we receive the return with all the information included, we can create a return request on your web shop. Here, you can now decide how to handle the return. There are different statuses you can choose from that all either result in you accepting the return and the client receiving their refund, or in you not accepting the return and the client not receiving a refund. To see all possible statuses, have a look at our Help Center. Very similarly to order updates, so also via a webhook, once you choose how you want to handle the return, we update the marketplace with the return status and your customer will be updated and either receive a refund or not. In our case, your customer simply ordered the wrong size jeans and sent back their order very timely. So once you have received the jeans and made sure that they are still in new condition, you can approve the return request on your web shop and we will pick up this status change and update the return request on Amazon. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more e-commerce content. For now, let's head back to the studio and learn how to set up an order connection in Chanable directly. See you there. We want to hear your questions on what you want to learn about. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification button to learn more about e-commerce and all the aspects behind it. Join us at Chanable.